I have a confession to make. Let me wait for the car. Okay. I've got a confession to make. Wendy overheard me making this video and was excited. Another car. Recently, we got some rain out here. It's been a while, you really needed the rain. I took advantage of the softer ground this morning and in addition to my regular chores, I pulled a bunch of weeds for our chickens. There's about a half a garbage can of weeds. Right now, it's late summer and unlike the spring, when our chickens can get practically all the weeds they could possibly want, they've been a little deprived of these tasty treats lately. Although I do have a few things from the garden in here, a lot of it is Queen Anne's lace. So, probably not the tender weeds you'd most prefer chickens. That's right, beggars can't be choosers. We're going to have a special project with our compost bins out front. little goats are growing up. Last night we moved Blue here over to the buck pin. He is intact and a little more than two months old. We wanted to avoid any unwanted pregnancy. Although we do want to control who breeds with who and when, the biggest concern is Blue's Nubian half. All of the does, except for Indigo, Blue's mom, are miniature goats. So if Blue were to get one of them pregnant, the kid could be large enough to seriously threaten the mom's life during the birth process. Blue is out here crying all night. He misses the other goats and is not quite ready to fit in with the new dynamic over here in the buck pen. But he seems to be doing a little better right now. I'm sure it'll all work out and Blue will get the lay of the land here pretty soon.
Striker, are you being nice to Blue? You little baby goat, you're being nice to him. Yeah, little baby goats are nice to everybody. Little baby goats are nice to Blue. <laughs> Lightning and Striker are acting <clears throat> Lightning and Striker are acting really strange around blue. We're pretty sure that blue smells a little too much like the girl goats. We'll probably have to give Blue a bath to remedy this situation. The very first things I ever built out here were compost bins. I started with these four. As you can see, I camouflaged the old pallets with sticks. When we first moved out here, it seemed important to me to make these old pallet constructions look just a little better, at least as seen from the street. Now, as I've added compost bins on, I simply haven't taken the time to screw on more sticks. As I've been cutting up the storm debris for firewood, I've also been setting aside some nicer pieces specifically to use with those newer compost bins out front. Making the place more beautiful is a higher purpose than just having a little more firewood, I think. The hard part is done already. I've used the finished compost from this bin. It needed to be empty because quite a few of the screws are going to be put in through these thin boards into the thick sticks. For some of the smaller branches, I can put the screws through those branches and then into these two by fours. I just didn't want to do it the other way around where the screw would be going all the way through a thick branch and then barely poking into a thin board. It just wouldn't be stable over time. I'll only be doing the span of this one bin today when I'm done, I can turn the compost from the next bin over into here, emptying that one, and I can keep on going at that point if I want to. The compost on top is fresher, and it definitely needs more time, but at some point, I might reach finished compost down below, at which point it may take me a little while to exactly figure out where and how to use that around here.
looks like I'm going to be getting a little farther along on this project today than I thought I would. After finishing the sticks on the back of this bin, I turned all of the material over into here. I also interlaced some of the top material from these other two bins as I was piling this up. None of this compost in the two newest compost bins was ready. It just simply hadn't had enough time to compost yet. Let's keep going with the sticks. got a confession to make. Wendy overheard me making this video and was excited about having some fresh finished compost for her garden. She cleared out a bed so I could add more compost to it for her. Well these bins didn't have any finished compost so I don't have any compost to give her right now. I do have this empty bin and I'm pretty sure that some of those bins over there on the other side do have finished compost at least halfway down. It's a little late now, so I'm not going to do it today. And I don't think you really need, maybe I won't even video it because you've seen enough compost work for, for a while, I think. But I'll rotate the stuff on top of those other bins into here and then get down to the good compost for Wendy's garden. I've been meaning to do that project for quite a while, and I just finally had enough sticks to do it. Here's the garden bed that I just topped off with our fresh compost. Homemade compost for a happy garden and a happy gardener. 
If you like what we're doing out here, please leave a comment and subscribe to our channel.